Hi there my beautiful Leos, welcome to my channel Soul Light Hypnotherapy. My name is Kirsten and I have a unique reading for you for the uh, Valentine's Day month of February. Um, this is called What Are Their Intimate Desires and this reading is not about you Leo, it's about the person of your interest, of your greatest greatest interest in the month of February. Now this doesn't even have to be your husband, wife, girlfriend, boyfriend. It could be anyone that you're interested in sexually that you're holding in your your uh, foremost most foremost in your mind, um, and that you've got the hots for, right? And we can take a snapshot look into uh, their sexual psyche, um, who they are sexually, how they identify themselves, who they are really, what their turn ons are, what their desires are, and uh, what they'll be doing in the near future in the month of February to get their intimate needs fulfilled. So, um, that's how the reading w is done, and that's the perspective that we take. Um, it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of plausible deniability uh, written into this. <laughs> so, uh, uh, this is just for you guys to enjoy and have fun with, okay? Uh, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit that like button for me, guys. Please hit the like button. It shows me that you appreciate my time. It shows me that you appreciate the readings. You're finding value in it, and it, it gives me incentive to keep doing it. So hit that like button, guys. Like, comment, share, subscribe. And if you'd like a personal reading, my information will be in the, the description box below. So that being said, um... Uh, let's go ahead and get started. We've got the Ten of Cups that was on the bottom of the deck. Ten of Cups um, is the um, this is the person that you're thinking about, Leo, the most, right? So who they're involved with, um, they may be married, or they feel like they're involved with someone that they can marry, that they're involved with uh, someone that they have a deep bond with that they can share the rest of their life with. Um, they have a fruitful uh, connection. Um, and a deep, satisfying sexual relationship with someone, um, or they're they're interested in someone whom they have a relationship like that with. Okay, they're either involved with them now, or they feel like this person is their life mate, their marriage mate. Um, where how they're presenting themselves, um, how they're presenting themselves uh, sexually to their partner or to their person of interest or to the world is the Four of Pentacles. So just so you can see the card upright. Um, and the Four of Pentacles actually is upright. I don't know why I had it turned upside down. Um, it is upright. Um, so this is a person who, this is how they present themselves. Let me tell you the meaning of the card. This person likes to know the status of a relationship when they're in a relationship. They like to know what it is they're dealing with. Um, they want to have balance and understanding or a commitment um, in the relationship. And both parties have to agree to the status quo going in. So they may cling to a sexual partner because they already know that where they stand with that person. Um, and so they may not... Um, this is someone who is pretty faithful to whomever they're with because they know where they stand, right? So this person is pretty satisfied sexually in their re current relationship. Um, they enjoy uh, sex and uh, they're comfortable uh, having sex with their partner. They know how to please their partner. Their partner knows how to please them. And that's exactly what they're looking for. Uh, they, they like to have sexual harmony in their life. As... Um, as a coin card or a pinnacle card, there's always some sort of monetary gain or asset that's involved in the exchange for sex for this person. Um, so they get something out of it, and what they want to get out of a relationship, again, is the status. They want to know where they stand. They want some sort of stability or security when they're involved with someone. And that is the biggest turn-on for them, the perfect scenario for them. I would say as a present situation, this person may be in a relationship that they consider to be pretty stable. They're being faithful to someone. Um, and overall, they're pretty happy and pleased uh, to be with the person that they're with. They either are married or they feel like they're uh, with their marriage partner, as I mentioned before, with the Ten of Cups. And I feel like they're presenting themselves to the world 
Or if they're not involved with someone, if they're looking for love, they're presenting themselves to the world or to others as a stable, balanced person who's a good catch for 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 uh, marriage. Okay, so they're 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 either in a secure relationship or looking for a secure relationship, and they feel like they're they are a good catch, and they're presenting themselves to be balanced and a good catch, right? In reality, what they really are, and this card can stand for in this position, I didn't go over the positions, I'm sorry. The first card is how they're presenting themselves sexually to the world, and this is just a straight up sex reading, guys. I'm reading each card based on the sexual meaning only. So this is straight up sex reading. Um, this is how, how they're presenting themselves to the world or to their person of interest. This is who they are really deep on the inside. It may be things that are even... Um, hidden to them they may not even know about themselves and uh, the card here explains what what they derive or gain from the act of sex this card tells us what they find attractive in a partner and um, these two cards here represent what they'll be doing in the near future in the month of February to get their sexual needs fulfilled so that's to explain the layout so this is where we are in the reading who they are really is the Two of Pentacles. Um, the Two of Pentacles tells me that this person really is kind of confused about e either their sexual relationship with someone, um, and and I'm reading the cards together now, and where it stands, the status of it, or they're confused about their own sexuality. Um, this person or this situation may be due to a mental physical, chemical, or sexual imbalance, either in themselves or in the party that they are dealing with. And um, so there's a codependence that they get through sex, and uh, they may be in a codependent relationship. Um, sexually, this person enjoys the pleasure of sex, and again, they may enjoy the pleasure of both sexes. This person may be bisexual. Um, they can easily engage in sex parties, orgies, carefree, communal-like sexual relationships. Uh, sex is a fun experience for them, a time uh, to learn, to explore about themselves and the person that they're with. And this is a very sensual person by nature. They enjoy playful sex, uh, lots of fun, laughter, music, wine, drinking, drugs, dancing, um, all as a part of the sexual uh, act or foreplay. This is someone who may strip as a business um, or may work in the sex industry on the side um, or do something that involves sex in some way or love or romance um, as a business or a sideline business. Um, this is someone who like I said before, may be experiencing some confusion at present in their relationship or about their sexual identity. Their secret turn-ons, this card also represents their secret turn-ons, they, um, well based on the card I think they, they, they like the butt, um, they like watching themselves in the mirror while having sex, while being subdued, while being taken. They like straight and by sexual pornogra uh, pornography. Um, they like being seduced. They are open to sharing partners or swinging with other couples. So those are their um, hidden traits. Maybe they're not even aware of it or this is what they're keeping secret from their person of interest. But they're showing themselves to be pretty balanced and a good catch while they have some ambiguity and some confusion, and this may be caused by um, uh, an imbalance, maybe even a mental imbalance or a chemical imbalance, some sort of imbalance here. Um, as I look at the cards, and these cards, uh, I, I was hoping this would just be a fun light reading, but I tend to go deep. I'm a Scorpio, so I can't help but see the deeper, darker picture, and there is a deep, dark picture here. And I think that either they are, they have some imbalance, make codependency or bipolar uh, uh, 
issues involved in their sex or someone that they're with has a problem like that, okay? That's why they're confused. The relationship is good. It should be good, um, but it's, it's unstable. It's unbalanced. Um, what they derive from, what the person of your interest, Leo, derives from sex, what they gain from sex, is the Page of Pentacles here. And as again, like I said before, when we're whenever we have a coin card or a pentacle card, there's always for this for this individual, there's always going to be some sort of monetary or asset gain or gain of status or clout that comes through the sexual act that they have to have in order to there's an exchange for their sex, okay? Now, um, as a page of pentacles, I'm reading that this person derives from sex, um, is this is a little complicated? I feel like um, they gain from sex wisdom, they gain experience, they gain maturity. They learn a lot from their partner. They allow their partner to teach them, right? Um, and I feel like this has to do with a past sexual experience for this person. That this person. Um, in the past, when they were way too young to process um, a, 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 a complicated relationship, they were in one. And that relationship complicated it or twisted them psychologically a little bit. And at way too young of an age, they were exposed to a relationship or a sexual uh, interaction with someone. And um, they learned to take pleasure in situations that aren't necessarily acceptable or considered normal by society. You see how he's he's taken on a life of whoever this is, this person has a life of of uh, seclusion, um, supposed to be celibacy, yet here they are taking this young girl down in the basement in secret. So uh, and she's pleased to be to to uh, to 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 offer this to this person. Maybe there's a relationship here and she doesn't understand that what she's engaged in, this person can't allow others to know about. This person um, is engaging them in something that is that's not upright. Uh, so there's falsity involved, and it's complicated. And I feel like um, this person gains uh, a sense of love through maybe twisted or unusual or unconventional relationships, sexual acts or situations, okay? It makes them feel worthy, wanted, loved. You can see her face. I got it too close to the camera. Um, now, what they find attractive in a partner... Uh, the person of your interest, Leo, what they find attractive in a partner, they like um, they like to see that if it's a if it's a if this person is a female, they enjoy to see the uh, the man's chest through their shirt, or if it's uh, a male, they they enjoy seeing their the female's nipples through the shirt, any sort of like teasing type of of uh, exposure. Um, they like lighter skin, uh, dark hair, and someone who, when they're ready for sex, they look, they, they're serious and they look serious about it, you know, that turns them on. They like nudity and to be naked and to just be naked with their partner. Tight ab uh, abdominal uh, muscles, strong legs, um and they like to picture you naked through your clothing. A big turn on for this person is to catch their partner coming out of the shower when they're all fresh and wet and ready. Now what this person is going to be doing in the near future in the month of February to get their sexual needs fulfilled we've got the uh, the judgment card and the ten of wands so, hmm.
Um, okay, I feel like there's person. It could be, you know, a couple different outcomes. Let's see. This person could be giving um, someone a second chance with the judgment card. And I would say that this someone has a sketchy history, a sketchy past history, a lot of sexual partners or dark, dirty secrets and skeletons in their closet, a dark, dirty past or a scan scandalous past, okay? And they know this already. They feel like they're with their um, marriage partner or this person is their soulmate, the person they'll go through life with. And... Um, there, there's confusion about this relationship and where it stands and the status of it but I feel like they're going to be giving a second chance to this person in February and they know that this person has a lot of problems and issues and um, that their past history is pretty much a mess they've already been through a trial with this person and um, but they're going to give them a second chance and with the Ten of Wands as a clarifier, I feel like this is going to cause a great burden to their person of interest. Um, sorry, uh, giving giving this person a second chance is going to cause a lot of burden and stress in their life um, because they're taking on too big of a responsibility. I feel like they want to help this person redeem themselves, heal. Um, clear away past history and I feel like it's too big of a burden for them it's too much to handle they're taking on too much and um, it's going to cause some sort of chaos um, or, or struggle for them and they could end up having some sort of big issue or life struggle as a result of giving this person a second chance Possibly, I'm just giving you the meanings of the cards, pregnancy worries in the near future, um, STD worry in the near future. This is someone who's got a, a, big, a, a, a lot of sexual partners and, and not knowing what their history was. Um, or there could be some sort of oppression involved in the relationship, okay? And this person may be, like I said, feeling like this is someone that they could stay with for the rest of their life. There may be some sort of guilt involved in taking them back and giving them a second chance and undertaking this burden and this stress. And it's it's not a good idea. If I could talk to this person, I would say don't do that. Um, or this person is going to be in the near future, in the month of February, the person of your interest, Leo, is going to be undertaking a spiritual... Um, redemption of their own. They could be going through uh, self-reflection, uh, a time of self-reflection, reviewing their own past history and not liking the mess that they've uncovered. And they are uh, uncovering some deep, dark, hidden, dirty stuff rep and maybe even repressed memories. Um, and they want absolution and forgiveness. They want to be reborn, renewed and released and to live a new life. Um, and it's a big life-changing decision to undergo this kind of process, but it will bring an end to a lot of struggles that they have undergone if they undertake this, this transforming, life-changing decision, maybe through um, a religious or spiritual transformation, past life regression, some sort of therapy, sex therapy or rehab. They are... Um, they are taking on and I think they're doing it by themselves and not really I, I, I would say that with this card next to it that they need to get help they can't do it by themselves they can't do it alone it's too much and 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 they're gonna need someone to help them process their past process all of the muck and clear it out so, um, yeah, that's pretty, pretty deep there. Um, if they're, if they're getting involved with someone and if that's you, Leo, then you've got some dark secrets and skeletons and I think they're taking on too much responsibility and you've got to take on responsibility of your own. But if it's not you, then that's what they're dealing with, with who, whomever they're, they're involved with. 
and um, or they're undergoing a, a transformation that um, that's going to be life changing and um, and very hard and difficult to go through. So uh, that's that's a snapshot into the person that you're thinking about, Leo. And I hope that you derive some benefit from this reading and um, compassion for uh, for whomever it is that you care about. So I wish you a happy Valentine's Day, and much love and peace, and I will see you in March. Blessings. Oh, and please make sure to like before you sign off. Like, hit the like button. If you like a personal reading, my information is in the description box. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.